Bishop Herman College, one of the best senior high schools in Ghana, located in Pando in the Vota region, appeared abandoned, forgotten, and left to rust by the state, past students, the Parent Teachers Association, and other stakeholders. The reputable school is in a sorry state due to dilapidated infrastructure. The once prestigious college on the hill of Pando seems to be losing its glory as nothing inspiring appears to be going on well there. Construction projects, renovation, reforms, administrative works, among others, have all come to a halt with the revered Bishop Herman College looking almost abandoned. A recent visit to the school after a rainstorm revealed how the once prestigious institution, which produced many good brains and scholars for the country, now looks dejected. The iconic multi-purpose building, the Giants Block, which is the face of the college, when one enters the school, is now a death trap for students. The Giants Block, which serves as the school's only library, a storeroom, and also an apartment for school prefects, as well as dormitory block for House 1, which is traditionally named Kingdom or Vatican. The entire structure at the moment is a looming disaster about to strike if immediate steps are not taken to salvage the situation. Authorities have thus evacuated students from the block and reassigned them to other houses on the campus. In spite of the glaring danger posed by the collapsing building, it is still being used as a library and store. The reassigning of the students to other houses also came with its problems as dormitories or cubicles meant for 20 students now hold about 40. The last time, that was on the 4th of May, 2022, there was a torrential rain causing one of our buildings, that's the giant block, the, the, front, the one in front of the school, the front view of the school. Yeah, due to the torrential rain, the, the roofing sheet were removed. We have the library at the down floor of the building, so causing distraction to the books in the library. There has been distraction to our base too, so we have to be moved to other dormitories. People are clumsy in the room, which cause other students to sleep on the floor and then others to sleep on the bed. Sometimes two is too immature because um, we don't have enough beds, like we don't have um, enough spaces to put the beds in them, so they have to pair on the bed. <coughs> and then it, it, it has brought about heat in the room. The students say they want immediate solution to these problems in the school. All the cubicles are allo allocated some wheels and tabs and right now they are pressure on them because the, the students are too many in the various houses. So we plead on the government to do something about that for us. And moreover, the library and the storeroom for the, uh, the school is under the giant block. I'm pleading on my colleagues and the teachers for, for this kind of opportunity given to me as a student of Bishop Herman College. I just want to say we need the help from them. Although the Giants Block has been awarded to a contractor for rehabilitation, work has stalled. The headmaster of the school, Francis Kudolo, spoke to City News on the issue. According to him, the whereabouts of the consultant for the contract is not known. He called on government, all students and other stakeholders to come to the aid of the college. I'm calling on government, get fund, all students, the opinion leaders to come to our aid. The contractor who is working on the project, he should be a little proactive with the consultant. We are not able to trace the consultant. He has to come in, identify the challenges and advise the contractor as to what to do. But we are not seeing him. The contractor, he is in league with uh, the consultant. So when I contacted the contractor, he said he is also finding it difficult to get into contact with the con consultant. Uh -huh. that, that is the situation. But I have spoken with the municipal chief executive who happens to be an old student as well. And he is also taking certain steps to see what they can do to help us. Municipal chief executive for the Pando municipality, Geoffrey Badasu, in an interview with City News, urged the students to remain focused as efforts are being made to address the issue. The situation at hand calls for that action where we have to uh, ask students to move to a newly constructed uh, hall of residence. So for now, uh, the situation is a, a bit under control, 
but steps are taken to make sure Haswan is re renovated so that the students will, will move back to avoid any problem associated with congestion. The situation is under control. We are doing everything possible to make sure the nursery stakeholders and individuals that will support the school will, will contact them and as early as possible will get Haswan back on track for them to continue to enjoy uh, their stay in the house. Reporting for City News from the Bishop Emmanuel College in Pando, I'm Desmond Selassiago.